It's my feel good breakfast show. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. 11 sleeps till Christmas and we all know that this is the season to be jolly. Family festivals, beautiful food and then now and then a family feud. There's a fight. 083-913-3728. We're taking your calls this morning for your questions and comments and we also have our relationship expert in studio. Dr. Eva is here with us together with Chad Simon who is uh, entertaining all of us with some beautiful music. But we're going to the phone lines right now. Vicky, you are live on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. What's your question or comments? My comment is around um, Christmas time. You always have, if you have a family with three or four children, you will have the mother um, tell the daughter, oh, you must clear the table, you must do the washing up while the boys do whatever they want. And, you know, quite frankly, it is unfair. It is actually disrespectful to your daughters to expect them to do the work. You know, if, if you can eat together as a family, you can clean up together as a family. And it will also make sure that everybody feels they're treated fairly, which will also minimize mm. the whole thing around the family feel at the end of the day. I mean, it's about respect yeah. and fairness. I like that. Thank you, Vicky, for your comment. She's saying it's I all about it. respect, yes. No, well, first of all, I love the fact that she's aware of the gender roles mm. and how we put boys and girls separately and this old-fashioned idea of the girls must be the ones who clear up and that the boys are the ones who can go and do whatever they want. Mm. It's a great time to be able to put your values and principles when you've got the whole family together because then kids learn about what their parents believe in. And mm. here is something that Vicky believes in, which, you know, good, <laughs> I agree with you. It's yeah. a, you know, I absolutely support that. But it's like that. I mean, everyone wants to have a really good time when you're yeah. out there. I mean, everyone, yes. as almost start cricket spiel, they will almost spill. Level, spill. <laughs> yeah, you know, not yeah, just yeah. the boys go out yeah. and then the girls have to clean up. Yeah. I mean, what what is the one thing that you, as a girl, I mean, it is kind of sad that we have to have girls around this time in yeah. festive season, but yeah. what is the one goal you have for your festive season and as you are visiting the family? Um, I just want to be able to rest and just have some, you know, catch up time because mm -hmm. it's been a hectic year. I've been really, really blessed, really busy. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's just about enjoying uh, my family and just being around them as simple as that. And, you know, I get stuck in if I need to. I iron, I clean, I do whatever I need to. Vicky, this is your guy right here. You heard it. <laughs> He's getting right in there. I I'm thinking of all the personalities that rocks up because yeah. you haven't seen each other. You've maybe just spoken yeah. on the phone. I, I want to get to the passive aggressor yes. soon, but we're going to go to our phone lines again. Uh, it seems like it is. Cherry on the line. Sherry, you live? Jerry, yes. hi, Jerry. Yes. You live on your Feel Good Breakfast show. How are you, ma'am? I'm so well. How are you, Jerry? I'm fine, ma'am. Yes, please. Your, your comment or question? My comment, ma'am, is like we, we tend to spend, overstay or spend for things that we are not planning to do. Mm. And most of the time, we find uninvited people coming to our family. Mm. Then that's where the problem starts. People overspend, forget about this school. When general comes, that's where the problem is. The fight begins. Yeah, you must save that's your money here, Jerry. Thanks. <laughs> Jerry's talking about the overspending, so uh, uh -huh. we, we see this as an opportunity to, mm. you know, we're replacing everything from the mm. vacuum cleaner to the new lounge suites. Mm. You know, as children, yeah. there was still plastic over, so you didn't, <laughs> yeah, you don't take the plastic off till like next year. What advice can you give us about that? Because it is a time yeah. when you want to spend your money. You know? you are, but there again, it's about instilling values. Mm. And a lot of people think, well, this is the time of the year that I do want to spend, and that's fine as long as you don't feel guilty about it. But then the other people, which I think the majority of people just want to treat themselves. They feel, you know, I've had such a hard year mm. and I owe this. But then other people will be judging that or other people will be saying, I don't want to be spending that much money. Well, that's just within your intimate relationship. And then the family comes in and maybe you want to impress them and show them how well you've done during the mm. year. And there is just so much tension when it comes to money and what you're putting on display and what you want to be showing, you know, mm -hmm. what do you want to be presenting about yourself? I always say when you have a clean home, it doesn't ask for money. You just yeah. clean it up. Keep your money till the 7th of January because that's when everyone has spent theirs. So yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't spend too large. Jerry, good advice this morning. Yeah. We're talking about the personalities that end up at the house. And again, if yes. you have a question or comment, 0839133728, if you want to give us a call. The passive aggressor, uh, mm -hmm. whatever you think is best, they say. Yeah, you so know? it's like the whole family will say, where do you want to go? Where mm -hmm. should we spend the afternoon? Like, Okay, wherever you want to. Mm -mm. And then they spend the rest of the afternoon really criticizing or really being very irritating and not being very happy and bringing the whole mood down in any case. So you want to be able to be flexible. You've got a lot of people who've got individual needs what's going on. Flexibility and compassion. I always talk about that. Compassion and kindness and flexibility are what make relationships work. 
be able to adjust to a situation. Maybe you don't like that restaurant, but one family member really does. Mm. So for that time, think, well, I'm with my family. It doesn't matter what I'm eating or where we are, but this person's happy with it. And the next choice will be mine. Okay. It has to be flexible and negotiated. Well, flexible and negotiated is the word. Respect is what we also heard yes. earlier on your phone line. So 0839133728. Thelma, you are live on your Feel Good Breakfast show. What's your question or comment? Um, my question is um, why, um, I'm going to make this long story short. Mm. My sister lived with her son, decent people, and now he threw her out because my sister wanted to um, put... Uh, the girlfriend's washing on a different line in the sun, so she went to ask her if she could do it. Mm. But this, this, this thing is coming a very long time, which she now moved in and they can't get along. And you know what? You threw all her clothing in a car, a pots and a pants outside, and this is pretty decent people. They mm. live in Peru. And now I'm so sad because every time she must come and uh, come to me, but now she's living with a friend. Mm. Where, where yeah. is she spending Christmas time, Thelma? I, I wouldn't know. They always go mm. to uh, the holiday houses in, right. in, in, um, in um, Naisna. They've got holiday houses in Naisna, all the sons and, uh, and, and the extended Shaman. family. Yeah. Yes, like my other sister and uh, these sons yeah. and and an ex-husband and all that. Everybody, thank you so much for your for your comment this yeah. morning. So she's talking about a feud that even has someone out on the street. I feel for the lady because, you know, That's sometimes terrible. you do good and it's just a miscommunication mm. of some well, sort. You just, you just hit on the magic word, is communication. But there really wasn't good enough communication, mm. which is always what leads to family feuds. People don't really talk honestly Dr. Eve, shortly, we have yes. to wrap up because yes. we have to go and we want to just wish everyone a good time. What yes. do you want to say? Use condoms. Wow. Lower your, lower your alcohol rate. Make sure that you communicate and talk with each other. And be aware this is family, so there should be conflict. It's mm. okay, but it's really how you do the repair work provided afterwards. <laughs> Listen, happy holidays. Chad Simon is also in our studio this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. We're delighted. Thank you for having me. This is your Feel Good Breakfast show. Dr. Eve, thank you. And thank you for your calls this morning. Yeah. Guys, over to you.